You know, for many police officers, body cameras have become standard equipment as they head out on patrol. Now, a Southfield company is taking that technology to the next level with real-time images. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom shows us how it could help boost safety and transparency when seconds really count. Police body cameras, it's a hot topic, but let's take it a step further. The cameras can obviously allow you to see what happened, but wouldn't it be better to see it happen live? When seconds count, our first responders come running. Hey, hey, hey. But sometimes, mere seconds can be a matter of life and death. Get on the ground! Go! For them. Someone leaves their private residence and begins to tase the officer. And the rest of us. Morning, a local police department is back under the microscope after an officer kills a woman during a traffic stop. Using the current body cam system, the video needs to be reviewed after the event. But what if it could be seen in real time? Could our stressed out emergency responders make better choices with remote help? So we identified in the market that they need more support, more collaboration. More eyes on our police, firefighters, EMTs, and the people they interact with at all times. Real-time interactive policing is going to allow them to be more safe mm -hmm. and also increase citizen satisfaction and it gives real-time transparency. Equature, a software company headquartered right here in Southfield, gets it. Equature's newest endeavor is the first of its kind. It's a real-time body camera and it will capture everything that happens live. Paul DeModica walks me through how it works. So if, if I'm law enforcement, yes. this is on me. Take, me, take me for a ride. So we're walking down the street right now, we're driving our car, and we're seeing things in real time as they happen. Okay. It allows us visually to interact. The system operates on a 4G Wi-Fi national network. And it gives us the flexibility, as an example, not just a traditional body camera, but also on a phone as well. The goal is to enhance communication, giving immediate feedback to the folks in the field. The local police department dispatch center can see and hear what's going on as it happens. Like if an officer's down. The system will visually tell you where that officer is, has a built-in GPS. The nuts and bolts of this technology is simple. Your dispatcher is your lifeline. Watching, reacting, and getting you the tools necessary to make each call a successful one on the spot. Policemen are required to make a split-second decision in a maximum stressful situation. But when things go wrong, the real-time camera will catch it as it's going down. This is gonna give them the evidence to tell the court what really happened in that situation. Here it is on video. Ned Timmons is the owner of LSS Consulting in Commerce. His crew responds to critical and emergency situations. Timmons thinks this software is exactly where our society needs to go because as things stand right now. You have to go back and review that tape. And you also have the danger of, was the dash cam on? Was the officer's body camera on? Did it malfunction? The interactive policing app would get rid of all those risks. We're streaming all the information into the cloud, so the evidence is automatically being collected. Our first responders are in the thick of it. Heart rate goes up, your blood pressure goes up, you know, the adrenaline is flowing. Sometimes there is no time to turn on that camera. That the cameras can be automatically turned on by command and control. And when a cop comes up against a suspect, this product identification can catch exactly what's coming at them. For example, if I have five policemen running down an alley and it's dark at night and they're actively chasing a person, ultimately we're going be able to identify what's in that person's hand. Is it a loaf of bread? Is it a 45? And it's going to save valuable seconds. And hopefully save lives. Look, safety and accountability is important to the police and the public, and this could help achieve that at a higher level. The real-time interactive policing system will be ready to roll out in 2018. I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News.